different. The, the opportunity for every business owner in this room is to pursue different, be different by the comp than the competition, and massive opportunity will present itself. There's a saying I have above my desk uh, from Oscar Wilde. He wrote the book called Dorian Gray, became a uh, you know, multimillionaire in his time, I think in the 1800s. He's from Ireland. And uh, he had a famous saying I have now above my desk that says, be yourself because everyone else is already taken. Mm. That's the definition of it. Now, if you don't know the story of uh, Oscar Wilde, uh, Oscar Wilde became a multimillionaire in the uh, 1800s, the equivalent of a multimillionaire today, uh, but ultimately ended up destitute, in jail, totally impoverished, because he had the propensity to expose himself. Which I don't know, by the way, technically, if that's how you expose yourself. I just I feel compelled. Um, but there's a second lesson in here, and it speaks to this. You need to have top client demand. And I will tell you, uh, for Oscar Wilde, that uh, no one wanted to buy this. That's the second lesson. You must do something that's unique, but you have to have customers that want it. I mean, you could go to a, the next wedding, you're taking photos or whatever, you can wear a big Bozo the Clown costume and come walking in. You will get noticed. But I don't know if your customers want to buy that. So what makes you unique and intersects customer demand? Apple did it, you know, how they came to the market was they made a very unique product and they went after a very specific community. It was originally uh, the creative community, uh, media centers and stuff like that. And then they went to the educational market and then they exploded. Uh, and you see this play out over and over again. There's a, uh, a, sh a sh in the shoe industry, I tried to go back and investigate um, really old established businesses. I'm like, you know, how can you be innovative in the shoe market, for example? No one can, can make something unique in the shoe market. But we see it play out over and over again. I mean, the introduction, everyone, everyone, everyone here ever hear of Vibram, the five-finger shoe? Okay, they, they, yeah, it's, if you haven't heard of it, consider yourself lucky. Uh, it's a shoe that's a glove for your foot. You literally can put this on and scale the wall and ceilings if you wear this thing. Highly innovative, but it spoke to a market, what was called natural runners, people that wanted to run um, and feel like they're running barefoot. Uh, Ugh. Ugh, dominated the market in the shoe industry. How'd they do it? They targeted that shoe, I don't know if you know, or boot, was originally made for surfers. They went to a very specific community. Surfers were getting, their feet were cold when they came out of the ocean. They wanted to put on something warm, but they also needed something that was about this high so when they walked down the beach, the sand wouldn't kick in. And that's how Ugg got started. So what makes you unique and who are the clients that it resonates with? There's a third component to this colossal seed you need to do, and it's systems. And here's what I mean by systems. If you can attract prospects to your business, convert them to customers, have them raving about your experience, telling their friends about it, posting all your work on social media, saying, you guys, check this out, loving what you do, paying you well, all while you're sleeping, that's a system. If your business can run in its entirety without any of your conscious effort, that's a business that can grow colossally. And it's the intersection of these three that this happens. 